Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Anshika Mishra. Let's look at today's top medical news. How is metabolic profile linked to disorders? According to a study published in the journal JAMA Network, Open, biomarkers of lipid, apolipoprotein and carbohydrate metabolism have been suggested to be associated with the risk of depression, anxiety and stress-related disorders, but results are inconsistent. Depression, anxiety and stress-related disorders affect around one-third of individuals. Research suggests that metabolic dysregulation, including lipid and glucose abnormalities, may contribute to their development by triggering inflammation. This inflammation involving immune cells and cytokines is associated with, with these disorders. The study analyzed data from 2,11,200 participants aged 16 years and older from the Amores cohort. Participants included healthy individuals undergoing routine sc health screening in workplace and those with health conditions referred for testing by physicians. They were free of mental disorders at baseline and had at least one measurement for the biomarker study. Are you also aspiring to excel in medical journalism and delve into the intricacies of health and medical reporting? Explore our comprehensive course on medical and health journalism available at the Medical Dialogues Academy. Learn from industry experts who possess in-depth knowledge and experience in this field. For further details, scan the QR code provided or access the link in the description box below. The results showed that during a mean follow-up time of 21 years, a total of 16,256 participants were diagnosed with depression, anxiety or stress-related disorders. Among these, 9,725 were diagnosed with depression, 7,582 were diagnosed with anxiety and 4,833 were diagnosed with stress-related disorder. A total of 3,128 participants were diagnosed with both depression and anxiety, whereas less than 1% were diagnosed with both depression and stress-related disorder or with both anxiety and stress-related disorders. Only 984 participants had received all three diagnoses. The findings suggested that compared with low or normal levels, high level of glucose and TGs were related with a higher risk of depression, anxiety and stress-related disorders, whereas a high level of HDLC was associated with a lower risk. In addition, these biomarkers showed different levels between individuals who develop depression, anxiety or stress-related disorders and those not developing such during many years before diagnosis. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for more updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe, and press the bell icon.